Writing checks isn't nearly as common as it was decades ago. We know that, but check fraud, we can tell you, is on the rise. Yeah, on your side's Christine Lazar. Talked with a consumer advocate who says you're not as protected by your bank as you may think. I know this for a fact because I had $6,000 taken out, and it's they helped me that time but said, if it happens again, it's on you. Now, um, was that check fraud or was yes, that? Yes, it was a check fraud. Do you guys still write checks for anything? I don't. I, yeah. I just quit. I mean, rent just, I, right. they just turned it over to electronic. I mean, there's some things that it is actually really hard to not write a check for, yeah. right? But what I learned is checks still have some protections. You just need to know what those protections yes. are so you can advocate right. for yourself. Well, the Financial Crime Enforcement Network reports that from 2020 to 2021, check fraud increased 23%. And it's estimated that check fraud will cost consumers $24 billion this year. In late 2021, Steve Cedrone dropped three checks in three separate envelopes into a USPS mailbox. All three checks were stolen. At the time, I was a little more, you know, wary of, for example, doing a wire transfer um, and, and giving out my routing number and my account number. One of the checks was made out to the U.S. Treasury Department. Cedrone was making a tax payment of more than $21,000. And the front had not been altered. It simply had somebody's signature on the back, which was, of course, was illegible. Cedrone reported the check fraud to his bank, Chase, and to the bank where it was cashed, Wells Fargo. Two years later, neither bank has returned the money. Wells Fargo sent him this letter last week, telling him we are not able to release information without the customer's permission. That customer being the person who allegedly stole and cashed Cedrone's check. And Chase said in this recent letter that the bank of first deposit, Wells Fargo, is responsible for reimbursing the payment. I would say that I've gotten next to nothing in terms of information from either one of these banks. Carla Sanchez Adams is a senior attorney with the National Consumer Law Center. She says federal law generally requires the victim's bank, in this case Chase, to reimburse them for fraud. That check isn't properly payable. It's, they're not supposed to pay on it. They, and if they do, they need to recredit my account as the consumer, as the bank customer. Um, so that bank, my bank, can then pursue other banks, can pursue the wrongdoer. They can do whatever they want on the other end. But on my end, they have to recredit my account. Now, I contacted both Wells Fargo and Chase, and almost immediately, Wells Fargo issued a check to Chase for more than $21,000, and Chase says it will now credit Cedrone's account nearly two years later. He will finally have his money Christine, back. Christine, you called and got them to do that, but he took Funny him. Funny how that works. I um, but I will say, Chase maintains that it was on Wells Fargo, not them, to return the money, but the legal expert I talked to and everything I read online really says that it should have been Chase that immediately immediately credited him and then went after Wells Fargo and they could kind of figure yeah, it out on yeah. their own and you know the customer would be whole. Now I do want to point out that I also talked to the expert okay so should we stop writing checks and she said no you actually have quite a bit of protection wow. with checks. With wire transfer it can be trickier because if you put in like one wrong digit uh, it'll go to the wrong person and the bank will say hey sorry, we delivered it yeah. as you asked us to it's not our fault that you put it in wrong but she says if you're delivering a check especially if it's a large one try to cut down on how many people are going to touch it so instead of putting it in the post office box like he did yeah. walk into the post mm -hmm. office or it, if it's yeah. say it's like Time Warner cable or something that has local offices go to walk the into office. the office yeah. especially if it's a big check if it's like 50 bucks hey you can take that gamble but if it's 21,000 yeah. yeah. you know better to have it going right to the person you want it to go Good to. Good information, mm -hmm. as always. Christine, thank you. Yeah.